Hello everyone, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you a basic demo where I can execute the OS specific terminal commands from our browser. So I'm not going to describe the code in this video. I'm just going to show you the working demo so that you know what I'm actually working on right now. So to run this, uh, npm run start is the Node.js TypeScript project. And yeah, it's up. And then we can go to our client project. We, I'm already in my client project. It's the React application. NP, uh, it's yarn start. So, And you can see uh, it's already opened. Now, if you if you see the other examples on the web, you will see everything is handled inside of the client side. But this one, I'm telling you, it is not actually handled anything in the client side. Whatever I give instruction here, command here, it will go to the server side, go to the server's con uh, terminal execute it and return me the result. So to begin with, let me just start with who am I? And you see, I'm getting Faisal. And if I go to my code here, see it's actually happening. And the PID, that means process ID, I can also get that as well. Now let's do a little bit ambitious we can start with that ping, okay? Ping hyphen C. Suppose I want to ping five times, w dot, our favorite, google.com. And yes, so this command will is going to the server, being executed, returning me the data when it's getting from the terminal. And if you want to see, yeah, this is the not command, it's being executed here. Now, just to show you, uh, if you can see in my folder structure, let me just increase it a bit. Uh, I don't have any folder here, right? Now, I'm inside of the browser. Let me create a folder, okay? Make dir. Suppose app one and enter. So if I go now, into my project, you can see here, the app folder is already here. I just created it right now. And then, if I want to go inside of this folder, is from my browser, and create a new file. How about that? cd app1 and touch index.js file. And Yes, I actually created that one. Now, from my browser, I'm telling, keep telling the same thing. If you just don't believe me, inspect element. It's playing an old JavaScript and browser. Now, if I go here and run this file, and we run this and just console, sorry, log, amazing. I'm just adding current date here as well. So the magic is I'm going to execute the index file of a subfolder from my t browser. Just imagine. Okay, let me just short this one a little bit. Yeah, I hope. You can see it right now. So, okay. So, node dot slash app one slash index dot js. Okay. So, I'm sending a command. It is going to server, and in the server, I'm executing that command and returning the data. 
So yeah. So now, if you want to say, can I run? Uh, can I run? Uh, what can I say? A new Node application from my browser to a new in a new port. Let's see. So, cd app one and npx. Okay, let me just remove this file. Delete this one. Okay. npx create react app dot. Okay. Let's do it. Just see in the left side, it is being executed. And in my here, yeah, it's done. It's done. Now, let me find the port here. OK, so there was a slight glitch. Let me remake the whole thing. So because my project actually using Nodebone, so if we change something into my folder, the Nodebon server restarts the whole Node.js server. So it's not possible to create any subfolder ever here. What we can do, I can do, is just go one level up, cd dot dot, that means one level up. And we are actually creating a new React app from the browser. I'm just adding this at demo app 2. Just keep checking my left hand side console over here. And and also keep checking my data, uh, download speed here. So the packages are downloading. Again, this is the browser. Okay, oh, not yet. Okay, done. So this is the actually React command. So now we have to do, we have to go inside of that folder and open the React app. But because we are actually running a React app already on port 3000, let me use the port 3002. So uh, maybe 3003 or five. And this should be demo app two. So I'm going one level above, then going down demo app two, then setting the port and run the yarn start. Let's see. Magic. So I also can actually run and open the dockers as well. So if you want to see docker run hello world, sorry, it's the hyphen. Yep, that's all. So what I said beginning of the video, that is I can run anything of the terminal inside of my browser. I'm just sending the command to the server and this executed. It's pretty much fun. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'll open source the vid uh, open source the code after maybe tweaking something. Uh, still it is not presentable format, but I was excited to show you the work update. That's why I just wanted to show. And one more thing, in case you want to know where is the other apps I just created, uh, let me reveal in Finder. Let me just show the folders for you. Go above, and we should have demo app one and demo app two. I just created two. That's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. Programming is fun. Thanks for watching. <laughs>